is Grasshopper here. I'm Melton, son of a carpenter man. A dad of carpenter works on skyscrapers, uh, Mom Mary Ann. I'm the son of a carpenter Mary. I get to tell parables, and this is my Tommy parable series about Tommy, the no arm Chinese fella, average worker of the unseen business who lost his arms. Brown knows them. They love blind obedience in the Oriental streets. And this is also a uh, son of a carpenter Mary sugar check. I'll check my sugar. It's required to grow a new pair of eyes and a whole new body. Yes, the son of a carpenter Mary doing a little genetic carpentry here. A Tommy was told by his boss Wu to stick his arm into a wood chipper. And Tommy's always been blindly obedient. Stuck that arm in and lost those, uh, lost both arms. Right arm got chipped up, the left arm saw what was going on with the right arm, was of course surprised and jumped off. Tommy got up for most of these boss and a whole lot of folks around. He also won his girlfriend's heart. And I'm going to show you as I do my sugar check, uh, my laminated stuff, printed as a 4x6 print from www.daffodilia.blogspot.com. D A F F O D I L I A. Dot B L O G S P O T dot com. And yeah, this had a, a border on it, kind of like this one. I think I may just laminate this one the way it is. Got my nice star flowers background. But this, uh, I, I cut off the ex excess, and the excess is there to keep, uh, to keep, uh, the photo printer from cutting off part of the graphic card. And yeah, that's, uh, the brown part uh, slowly disappearing with that white part around it and the bluer part growing in through and around. Yeah, that's the process. It used to be all dark brown until they started changing in 96. 1996. Yes, I, I get to do genetic carpentry. Tommy, he won Rhea's heart on the dance floor. Of the snake pit. He uh, snaked his way over to her in between who she was dancing with and her and he's been there ever since. Tommy's always talked with a horse lisp and he um, he's always been scaly. He's Chinese. And he also uh, likes to stick his tongue out a lot. And uh, he, uh, yeah, he's Chinese. When he lost his arms, he became a real good snake dancer. He can really do that snake dancing. And yeah, it won Rhea's heart. Rhea is at home, his home, his house, moved in with him. When she hears a knock on the door, it's before Tommy. He knows he just comes right in through the, uh, the doggy door, yes, he lost the dog because he couldn't feed it. It was before he met Rhea. Lost the dog and uh, yeah, it smelled up the porch for a while. Then the smell went away. But it's a good thing he still has a doggy door because it's hard for him to get his keys out with no arms. So he just uh, crawls in and there he is. So Rhea is surprised that uh, Tommy is not is knocking. She goes to the door, and it is an Oriental fellow, but two eighty nine. 
but he uh, he's a lot older than Tom. He's a lot older than Tommy. And a lot wiser than Tommy. Uh, hold on, I gotta go run and get a paper towel. I ran out of clean hands. I don't want to bleed all over my one for the more all over my fa my uh, photos. You can also print out through www.christcomplex2.wixsite.com slash daffodilia d-a-f-f-o-d-i-l-i-a Once again, you got to trim off the edge if you want. You can leave the edges on. But the edges are there to uh, keep you from uh, to keep the photo printer from printing off the uh, the excess uh, the words and stuff the photos and stuff and uh, yeah if you laminate it works real well you can now uh, prop it up on your table and you got some nice tabletop art from a handsome ball guy here's some skyline imagery but uh, the old guy. Lou, he, he says there's grasshopper there, and she doesn't know what he means, but uh, eventually he calls him Tommy, and she says, oh, he, he explains he taught Tommy the art of stewed chimpanzee. In case you don't know, you every karate competition movie you see has a one guy who's kind of dancing around like a chimpanzee, and uh, he gets through one or two rounds, uh, and then somebody just uh, you know picks him up and throws him or something, and he's out of the competition. But that's the the Oriental discipline. That, yeah, Tommy was real broke up because he can't do it anymore. And he and Rhea went to a karate competition, and they ended up leaving early because he Tommy irritates a lot of folks. He irritated one of the the karate guys, and uh, Tommy, you know he. He tried jumping around like an ape, and he couldn't do it because uh, he doesn't have his arms, and you can't do it this well when you don't have your arms. And finally, you end up just you know standing on one foot. And when the, the the other guy came at Tommy, he kicked off his shoe. Yeah, the the shoe he wasn't standing on. He kicked off that shoe, hit the 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 guy in the nose, a oh, bloody nose, and then he took off running with Rio. Guy chased him all the way out into the parking lot. But uh, this is uh, uh, Lou, the karate guy. And uh, after they've talked for a while, there comes Tommy right in through the door with dinner. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's why he was so late. He found a cat along the way. He, uh, yeah, Orientals, ask them if they're honest, they will tell you. They, uh, they like cat and dog, no, not as uh, pets, as dinner. And Tommy found one along the way. And he brought him and he's muff muffled, but he's saying, hey, Rhea, I got dinner, hey, Rhea, I got dinner. He's carrying the cat in his mouth. And he's surprised, so surprised he drops the cat. Good thing that the cat's unconscious. And uh, Lou says, oh, 
I see you have adjusted to your arms being gone. You know what goes well with cat, don't you? Tommy only gets that big smile on his face because uh, Louis brought the good stuff from China. And when they get the munchies, nothing goes better with that than cat, according to the Chinese. Oh, well, I came across those. Should I leave that one with the stars on, too? But yeah, they get caught up, and I better wrap it up. I'll let you show you. I'll show you what uh, what I designed today. Right back there. And yes, uh, Rio's become a good cat cook. She uh, called up her grandpa in Alabama when she uh, met Tommy. And when she found she liked cat, he left a little of a cat's got your tongue wanting some more. Left a bucket of leftovers in, in the refrigerator, and she found she liked cat, so she called up her grandpa in Alabama. And yeah, I'm gonna have to end this soon. It's uh, the muscles. We're on a new pair of eyes, but also the, the muscles as well. And it's incredibly painful with them as well. Well, not with the eyes. The eyes aren't painful at all. It's the body, that the muscles, the bones, the organs, all got to go. The brown eyed ones. Back to my story. She called up her grandpa in Alabama, sent her a whole bunch of recipes for uh, raccoon, for uh, otter, for porcupine, skunk even. But it turns out the recipe for beef or works particularly well with uh, cat. So Katie's up. So Rhea has become a real good cat cook. She's given Katie the cat cook with cat's got your tongue. I want some more of the diner. A run for her money and uh, she shows off those uh, cat cooking talents uh, to Lou. And um, a year. Uh, Lou uh, has brought some uh, recreational substances, uh, substance, and uh, Tommy he thinks he's got his arms back uh, somewhere in the night. He'll wake up the next morning, and no, they're not there. I'm Mel and Seven o'clock from Mary. Come see me when you can't reach me by phone, girls. I can turn. I can't quite get the light to hit it right. I can turn your uh, favorite flowers into forever flowers. But you got to come see me in person, 424-229-4140. Hello. Tommy. Oh, that's Lou Seifer. Didn't know he was from China, did you? Lou uh, steals your calls to me when you try to call me, so you got to come see me in person. 4260 Garrett Boulevard, apartment 409, Los Angeles, California, 90065. Girls, don't fight what we have. And you know you like my image, too. Come get your favorite flowers. Uh, yeah, any of my stuff, or most of my stuff. Uh, see my contact, think your contact. I can't, um, I can't just, uh, figure out your contact from there and you sure can't reach me by phone so you gotta come see me in person let me put your your name up there where Melton is and uh yeah I can put you right there turn you into the nice uh, Venus de Milo or uh, a graphic art you can keep your arms on keep your shirt on too if you want I don't know what the fun is in that but I can also turn you into a nice uh, Mona Lisa of graphic art, but you gotta come see me in person. Come see the handsome ball guy who looks good in shadows uh, or in light. And let's get started build. Oh, uh, tell me what you believe. Ask uh, what I mean by Jesus as a Magdalene house here on earth. Opportunity houses to inspire the future and the present to greatness with. Come see me.
And oh, I almost forgot the best part, or the funniest part. Uh, all night long, you know, why he thinks he's got his arms. Tommy is just bouncing off the wall. And uh, Lou explains, yeah, that, that why we call him Grasshopper. Give him a little grass and, you know, he's uh, hopping all over the place. <laughs>